He's one of Jordan's most prominent businessmen and among the wealthiest. But since Wednesday, Sabia al Masri has been detained in Saudi Arabia for having what's been described as information relating to corruption. The 80-year-old Palestinian, who has a Saudi passport, is the founder of a major investment group and the chairman of Arab Bank, one of the Middle East's largest and most influential lenders. His detention has shocked family and friends in Jordan, where his multi-billion dollar portfolio is an important part of the economy that employs thousands. Sabih al-Masri uh, is, um, you know, he's like, I don't know, M M Michael Bloomberg for the economy of uh, New York. Or so. He's just a massive figure in Jordan and Palestine. He's the chairman of the Arab Bank. The Arab Bank is the bank that the Jordanian government turns to. It's a commercial bank. And the Jordanian government, when it needs money, it turns to the Arab Bank to get some advances. Al-Masri's detention follows a major anti-corruption crackdown in Saudi Arabia, which began last month. Around 200 members of the royal family and businessmen have been implicated. Among those detained are 11 princes, four government ministers, and several former ministers. It's thought many of them are being held at a luxury hotel in the capital, Riyadh. Several had their bank accounts frozen and were put on a no-fly list. They are the latest in a series of measures ordered by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The 31-year-old heir to the throne is being seen as trying to assert his power. Shortly after the first arrests were made, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud announced that his son, known as MBS, would oversee a newly formed anti-corruption commission and it would purge the country of what the king described as widespread corruption. It looks like this is following the attempt in Qatar, the attempt in Lebanon to uh, put stress on these smaller countries to have them fall in line. But the likelihood is that it, it won't succeed because the Jordanians have been through this before. Many times they've been under great pressure and they've always found a way to get out of it. Al-Masri comes from a prominent Palestinian business family from Nablus in the Israeli-occupied West Bank, with majority holdings in real estate, hotels and telecoms. He initially made his fortune from partnering with influential Saudis in a major catering business to supply troops during the Gulf War in 1991. Since then, his income has grown dramatically through regional investment and as boss of Arab Bank for the past five years. Although there's no Saudi comment on al-Masri's detention, it's a sign that the kingdom's anti-corruption crackdown is widening. Imtiaz Taib, Al Jazeera.